Oh, I'm going to be eating. It's some pork chop. It's some pork chop, and it actually has some veggies on it. It's delicious. I'm an idiot. I'm actually being lazy on my bed, but yeah. As you can see, the steam coming from it. It's delicious. See that steam? Oh god, it's hot. One second. Jeez, the lease is burning up hot. It's really good though. It has some, um, let's see, it's tomato based. So, it has some tomatoes on it, some corn, and some green beans. And it's got some cooked celery. That looks like a potato. And some onions. It was baked. I guess I was supposed to cut the grass today, but that didn't happen. This is a potato. I didn't go to bed until around, I think, five or six, maybe. I think maybe six something. Um. Ay, 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 it's me inside job time. Oh, well. I'm about to be cleaning these sheets very soon anyway, so I'm going out of town. And I'm super late, like, anally clean, so before I leave, it doesn't matter how long I go, even if I, like, leave the house for more than a few days, just, like, a couple days, I guess, um, I'm really anal about cleaning and how things have to be organized when I get back. It may seem weird, but even when I even use the restroom, I usually straighten my bed. I don't know why I just do it. Okay. I write a list down before I leave and everything, and like everything has to be perfectly, and everything has to go be good for the animals as well. I leave special instructions. I rather for them not to take care of my animals, but. I have to leave someone has to take care of them but I do have automatic feeders for all of them if I didn't want them to take care of them I call it the right before I go out of town I call it the big clean and everything and what I have to do I like literally wash everything that I think that is remotely dirty dirty I wash all my bedding, my pillows, casings, my pillows. Um, I'm not sure that before I leave, I get everything that I need before I get back. Things for work and all that nature. I do a thorough dust check. Of course, clean everything. Make sure everything's polished down. Make sure all the LCD screens are cleaned off. Make sure the the water is filled all the way to the top of the capacity on the fish tank and my turtle. And make sure all my needs are met with my dog. And make sure the cat's food. Everything has to be to the T. doing construction or they have to like basically the water's off right now because 
They're up there doing some type of construction. Um, no, I haven't got my phone yet. I checked the tracker, and it is actually going to be here today. I'm like, it really shouldn't take that long if I'm in Kansas and it's from Texas. This is not that far from here. But I did order a authentic life proof free or fray case. I did order the nude, but after looking at the reviews and looking at the coverage with the nude, like the problem main problem that I have on my phone is getting it scratched on the face. Like the face of the phone. And like basically that's where that's where my phone's messed up at is the crack and it has other issues going on with it. But mainly that's why I wanted to get that case. Like the new case is still just as good. It comes with a screen protector and everything. But I prefer that extra protection. Like it's waterproof and snowproof and all that kind of stuff. Like I'll be messing around with my phone in a lot of different angles and positions, stuff like that, and especially when it's winter time. When I go, I have to shovel and everything. Um, so, I absolutely, absolutely hate it. Because I wrap my phone up. Basically, I put it in a Ziploc bag. Within that Ziploc bag, I use a sock and then another sock. Because I want to make sure that my phone doesn't get messed up. So, like, when I, of course, like, when you work out or do things like that. Like, I used to listen to music, so... I put all that and then, you know, I put my headphones in and I wrap the headphones in like plastic wrap, terrible. But that's to prevent from getting my phone damaged. So I go through all that, but now I have that case and I'm so like excited. I saw the reviews on it and all the reviews look really good. It's just that I'm hoping that this one, one kid, he was like, um, oh, sometimes the screen looks pixelated. I'm like, oh lord hope that it's not pixelated anything in the world i just hope that the the my screen doesn't look pixelated let's hope that it doesn't but i'm really excited to go out of town i haven't been anywhere since like november like when i went up there before like to new jersey and everything but my friend she wants me to come visit her in florida which is my friend and my sister's friends we have a lot of mutual friends. Of course, we grew up together, so we're going to have some of the same friends. And, like, I really don't trust that many people because I just don't. Because I feel like trust is earned, but respect is given. I feel like I, I respect everybody. Like, I will respect you. Like, I respect people. Like, I respect you. But as in trust, like, trust isn't something that you just, like can give away. You can't give that to someone. Someone has to earn it. I'm ready for my phone to get here, but at the same time, I'm upset because my carrier is Cricut, which is stupid. I used to have Verizon. Yes, Verizon is the best carrier, but it is the most expensive carrier. But the problem is, is that Cricket, they switched over to a new Cricket, right? So I called the man. I asked him, can I um, go ahead and flash over my phone? I called him on Friday. He's like, sure, yeah, you can flash over your phone. I'm like, it's a Sprint phone. It's going to be a clean, a clean ESN. And it's activation ready and everything. And the person I'm buying from, you know, it was authorized and everything like that. He's like, yeah, come on in. You know, we changed the systems over. So you, we won't charge anything for the flash because we can't charge for it because we changed the systems over. So I called Monday. I'm like thinking they're close. Then I answer the phone because, you know, it's Memorial Day. So I'm like, okay, Tuesday, you know, I'm calling, calling. They don't answer the phone. But as you know, like last week, I actually went up there on Thursday, talked to them on Friday. Thursday, he said that, he says that, um, I'm like, why don't you guys answer the phone? He's like, well, we're busy. So I'm like, I understand that. You may be understaffed or whatever. But just as well as the per the people that are in person, they're important. The people on the phone is important, too. They're also customers. You have to remember that. You guys work in a customer service atmosphere. That's mean, that means that you guys have to show customer service. It's a well-ran 
customer service it isn't just isn't in person it's over the phone it's on the internet however you guys have to show it that's how you should that's how that's customer service that's what your job is if you're not good with people you shouldn't be working there i'm not trying to be mean but if you don't like people or whatever you shouldn't have a job like that i'm not trying to be mean i'm being realistic if being around people and you, you can't act right around people, then that shouldn't be a job that you work. It's plenty of jobs where you really don't have to interact with the public. So I was just basically saying, and then I call on Wednesday, and they're like, uh, well, yeah, we're not doing that anymore. I'm like, uh, I understand you're not doing that anymore, but you guys made plenty of promises to me that I was going to have 4G by December, and I never received the 4G um, it's all kinds of things, like, my tethering hotspot does not work, like, well, like, everything, the 4G doesn't work, and now they, they promise me, after all this issue, the, the frequency coming through with the police, um, frequency, the, the phone won't charge, it flickers, it toggles from screen to screen, when I toggle, it's a glitch, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm done with you guys, like, seriously, I just don't even want to, like, as soon as I get a chance to switch over, believe me, I'm switching over, believe me, they absolutely suck, like, how are you going to say you switch to a new Cricut and then tell me that the new phone I have to get is $500, like, really? It's a, it's a Galaxy 4, like, why would I pay that much for that when the 5 is already out, like, what am I, I'm not an imbecile, okay, don't insult me, don't insult my intelligence. Yeah, you see that little spot, yeah. It's pretty gross. It's from the thing you just fell. Yeah, I'm about to clean my sheets anyway, so sorry about that. Um, but in general, I was just like really irritated. We're not going to do that anymore. We don't do the flash. And overall, I was like, well, I was advised and I was promised on Friday if I was to bring my phone in next week that he would flash. Or what, well, we don't do that anymore. I understand, but you're going to have to figure something out. Well, we can't figure it out because we don't do it. It's just like uh, comparing it to if you get fired, that if you get terminated with a company, it's not like you can just go back and get stuff out of it. Okay, I understand that. That is irrelevant to what we're talking about. We're talking about flashing over phones, and you need to figure it out. So basically, she told me to go somewhere else to get it figured out. It costs $40, right, to go, or 40 it's 40 to $60. I called all over the, the area, and I've been looking online to try to flash it myself, but... My computer's really slow, and so I get my laptop. I can't really like download the systems that I need. I don't have the correct the the ports to do it. So I'm just gonna have to go there, get it flashed over by another company that isn't my company, for them for me to go right back to my company to activate the phone. That makes no sense whatsoever. But they want to roll like that. They want to play dice like that. Now let's play it. It's just so annoying. I'm just annoyed with him, but whatever. I'm sorry to stop being. I was talking a lot. But yeah, this video is pretty long already, so I'm sorry I'm not going to be able to finish the food. But hope you guys enjoyed me ranting. I apologize for all the ranting, but I'm just frustrated. So, But hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. Hope everybody has a good day. Bye-bye.